It is said that great leaders grow people. They don't just lead people. Great leaders are visionaries who can imagine a better future and inspire people to want to help to create that future. Great leaders are teachers. They enlighten their followers and lead them to a place of greater enlightenment. As a leader, Mr. Winston Chandaban Dukaran has transformed the political landscape of Trinidad and Tobago. Let us share with you a brief reflection of this journey. Born in 1943 in the rural village of Rio Claro, a young Winston Dukaran and family understood the value and importance of education as a means out of poverty. At the age of 23, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in economics and mathematics from the University of Manitoba, Canada. By the age of 26, he had received his MSc in economics at the London School of Economics and Political Science, University of London, United Kingdom. By 1991, he was awarded the Doctor of Laws degree from the University of Manitoba, Canada. Mr. Dukaran is an internationally renowned academic and practitioner of economics, publishing many works, among other things, on regionalism, structural economic reforms, financial liberalization, governance, social change, and markets. His work has also led him to become the governor of the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago. As an economist and a politician, Mr. Dukaran understood that nation building was less about economics and more about inclusion of people. In this regard, he has provided the leadership to empower people to exercise their intelligence, talents and collective wisdom in the building of a brighter future for Trinidad and Tobago. Whether he was Member of Parliament for Shabuanas in 1981 and 1986, whether he went on to become Governor of the Central Bank in 1996, or whether he became Member of Parliament for St. Augustine in 2002, and then on to be leader and founder of the Congress of the People, Winston Dukaran has always been a man of the people who stood by his principles. His legacy will be one for love of country. The young people of Trinidad Tobago salute Winston Dukaran for his inspiration as a role model and as an example for future politicians to follow. There are milestones in everyone's life that shapes who they are. These are some of the events that shape the story that is Winston Dukaran. Winston Dukaran entered local politics in 1981 when he joined the United Labour Front, ULF, won his seat and served as an elected opposition member of parliament in the House of Representatives. He helped to create the National Alliance for Reconstruction, NAR, which was ushered in with a 33-3 mandate defeating the PNM, the People's National Movement, which had held office for 30 years. Mr. Dukaran served as deputy leader of the NAR whilst also charting the economic recovery of Trinidad and Tobago as the Minister of Planning and Mobilization. Though surviving the 1990 attempted coup, he along with the NAR was unsuccessful in the 1991 general election. Winston Dukaran returned to active politics in 2002 his vision for the nation was clearly defined and unwavering. He said of his decision to re-enter the political arena, How can I walk away from the dream I have always carried in my heart, a dream of one single indivisible people, united across race, color, class and creed? How can we walk away from building a modern industrial economy, providing quality jobs, quality education, quality health care, quality transport to all the citizens of this twin island state, discriminating against none, but fair and equal to all. How can we walk away when our society is looking for redemption? For we cannot really develop as a people and country unless and until we get our politics right. Dukaran won a seat with the UNC, United National Congress, and served in opposition. By October 2005, he became political leader of the UNC, but by 2006, the UNC became the antithesis of the politics he advocated and took leave to form a new vehicle of change. Winston was accepting to become the... but he wanted, before he became the political leader,
to start some internal transformation of the UNC. And when you took that to the UNC executive, they rejected it. In my view, that is the time when Winston got in his mind, look, I've got to go. But if I want to see the politics, I've got to introduce this new politics. The Congress of the People was the vehicle to change the style and character of local politics. Of the COP, he said, I now answer your call to serve and to serve this country deeply to create a political organization that can harness and release the potential of our people, to immediately prepare for the next general elections, to form the next government of Trinidad and Tobago, and to build a strong country and a unified nation. He allowed young people to have a voice in the party. You know, in, in many different ways, he would have influenced us to excel and to really be passionate about our country, our development. I remember attending one of our political meetings and he made a very profound statement. And that statement was, when Laventil rises, Trinidad and Tobago will rise. It showed me that this man, this leader, understood that every facet of our society needed to be developed and no community shall be left behind. About the general elections of 2007, the COP gained over 148,000 votes, a telling statement for a new party, but did not secure a seat in Parliament. Mr. Dukaran said, We may have lost an election, but we have created a new political movement in Trinidad and Tobago. When early elections were called in 2010, Dukaran was again the mastermind of coalition politics in Trinidad and Tobago, and the People's Partnership was formed. As he noted, coalition politics is the modern way in which countries are now organizing their politics. A coalition represented freedom and inclusion of the people, and this was what the People's Partnership was offering. The People's Partnership received a sweeping mandate from the people to govern the country for the next five years, and Winston Dukaran became the new Minister of Finance in the 10th Parliament of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Perhaps the greatest testimony to Winston Dukaran's accomplishments is that he built a resilient entity, the COP, which continues to thrive even as he passes the baton of leadership. The COP continues to be the vehicle of the ideals and ideas he espoused for politics and nation building. He continues to be a guiding light for those who strive to build a better nation founded on good governance, self-reliance and participatory democracy as espoused by the Congress of the People.